for the weekend I had an event yesterday that probably should have vlogged but it was just too much going on for me to vlog it but anyway I was in town for an event called conscious couture resale as well what are some of the sacrifices that you've had to make first I'll start off with the personal um, I think sometimes being uh, an athlete or being business minded, it's forgotten, like you said, that we're human. We have feelings and I've had to sacrifice even relationships and friendships. I've missed my milestones in my family and friends' lives because I can't be there guys, I have to train or I have the world championships or I have a track meet. And so I thought by now I would be married, but <laughs> I'm single, so anybody out there, if you know anyone, if anyone here is single and you know, Shameless but, <laughs> you know, I thought I would be married and starting a family now. So to me, that's the biggest sacrifice that I've made. But, you know, I've, I've had tremendous experiences. I've traveled the world. I've done some things that I never imagined that I would ever do. So I know that one day when the kids do come, I have tons of stories to tell them. But I've definitely sacrificed time with, with family and friends. Those from my closet. Um, other designers you know, brought their own designs and there were like jewelry lines, clothing lines, um, you know, a lot of people there. But anyway, it was fashion for a cause, fashion fights, trafficking. We were raising money for the cause against human trafficking. If you didn't know, Houston is the number one city in America for human trafficking, which I thought was insane when I, I learned about that actually I was in Houston with some friends last year <laughs> we were just walking around downtown and we saw people protesting and that was when I learned that Houston is the biggest city for human trafficking but so when I was asked to be a part of this cause I said of course you guys know I'm all about empowering women and I love fashion so the two things mixed together why not so I spent the weekend at Hotel Sorella <laughs> I've actually stayed here before but um, it's a cute little boutique hotel um, my room is a mess but I guess I'll give you a little bit of a tour this is the little living room area TV little table desk area there's a little chair in the corner. Don't mind my towel and my suitcase. My bed that I'm about to get back into. And then this way you have a closet, the bathroom, super cute. Um, all my skincare stuff, the shower. My travel stuff, which if you haven't watched my um, travel necessities video, all of what's in there is in there. But anyway, I am about to get back to bed. It's Sunday, so I'm going to watch church. And then after I watch church online, I'm going to meet up with some friends to go have brunch before I head back to Austin and get back to work. So I'll be back. We have three services. Everyone say this particular verse says that God demonstrates his love for us even before we came to know him. He loved us.
dressed and ready to head out so I'm gonna give you guys a little outfit of the day let you check out my fit I did do a light beat on my face of course I'm wearing my favorite base so so yeah but anyway I have on this oversized shirt from free people I tucked in the side so that I don't completely hide my shape um, these are some banana republic jeans and my Birkenstocks so um, yeah simple outfit um, my accessories are also from Banana Republic these are three necklaces that I doubled and then layered them together obviously so yeah oh and I have my little crossbody on but yeah about to head out check out of the hotel and meet up with some friends for brunch and then hit the road Bye bye, Hotel Sorella. up with brunch it's about 3:35, and I'm about to head back to Austin so hopefully I don't hit too bad of traffic it is Sunday so you know traffic leaving the cities on weekends I hit a bit of traffic on my way down here on Friday so let's hope it's up <laughs> now turn left yeah. and then turn left again there's traffic right here just just to get on the interstate but hopefully it's just right here and then, yeah I'm headed home
a little over two hours but anyway as always make sure you're subscribed give me a thumbs up got some fun stuff coming up uh this weekend i go to mount sac um i'll be running another 200 there and four by four um gonna try to vlog but i won't have like a fancy crew like i did last week for texas relay so i'll do my best to get what i can for you guys but yeah i got mouse that coming up then next week uh world relays in the bahamas which is always fun and then pen relays at the end of the month so as usual i will keep you guys posted be on the lookout for more workout wednesdays and we'll get back on track with tea time but in the meantime, like I said, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and 